Good morning, folks. While Debbie drowns Florida and Colorado wildfires go stronger, Texas heat had them setting records for power usage, up over 65,000 megawatts in one hour. Are you sad that U.S. industry just took another uppercut, or happy that sweeping regulations are on our doorstep? Yin and yang to all these stories. In former Soviet Georgia, the number of anthrax cases hit 30 for the year. The bad weather that hit China has had a far worse effect on Bangladesh if you pray. Focus here a bit. Canary Islands are still rocking all the way zoomed in. Please note that this grid pattern was south of the island last October, and these tremors are still the type indicating magma movement. There is an unusual moderate magnitude quake swarm on the South American subduction zone. Two five-pointers hit El Salvador and Guatemala on either side of that volcano, and up on the east coast of British Columbia, an unusually high 4.9 hours ago. This picture is a little silly, but this is National Geographic trying to make their case to you. Next two stories get a little extra time. They claim a gas cloud will hit our black hole next year, not to be confused with our heliosphere coming out of a different gas cloud. And at those distances, how can they know that? And how many light years away is that? Did it happen already? And are we just seeing it now? This just has fear mongering written all over it. This, maybe not. When I started to see photos of noctilucent clouds every day, I was waiting for the words puzzling or used to be rare or seen during the day for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, read this article. It is a true sign of the change. Facts on the 1400 anomaly. It's happened in past years, but never more than a few days. We're into week three right now. Things like wave propagation, harp, next rads do not show up on here. It's just a different kind of machine. The wait for answers continues. When we told you to watch out for bigger flares, we would not think it would happen so swiftly. Could see M flares by tonight even as our active regions are developing some significant magnetic complexity. One at a time, this one is out front. You can see a tiny line of positive blue spots wrapped around a red negative region. This is probably not good. Looking behind her on the limb, can't quite see her fully, but this sunspot is new only in number and she's proven herself before. And up north, unfortunately, we need to watch how the magnetics develop around the big spot. It appears that this filament is going to hang on. That's a bit of good news, but keep an eye on those active regions behind it. The solar watch is on, and I'll leave you with our coronal hole and your thoughts. That's the news, folks. Be safe.